It's week two of the National Football League. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Colts and the Packers next on Madden Football. The address is 1265 Lombardi Avenue. The place is known as Title Town. Welcome inside legendary Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Thanks for having us in. Mike Tirico with Greg Olson, week two of the season. Greg, as you get the season going, you want to get that first game under your belt. Now, it almost feels like all the buildup has passed. Now we're looking ahead to this long marathon of a regular season. Absolutely. And this is really where you fall into the pace of the NFL season. All offseason, no matter how hard you try to say, all right, week one is just one of 17. That's not the case. It is different, Mike. You have all training camp, all summer, all spring to prepare for one opponent. Well, now that game is over and done with, and you get back to work on Monday, and you're going to play again in six days. The team that is able to turn the page to the next game week after week, those are the teams that handle the grind, the marathon, as you called it, of the NFL season, and here we are in week two. Indianapolis led out by their quarterback, Anthony Richardson. The number four overall pick in 2023 had some highlight moments, but injured most of the year. Greg now in his second year in the NFL out of Florida. You just hope throughout your career, Mike, that you're not on the wrong end of too many games like last week. So many games in the NFL come down to one score. They're very close. And every once in a while, there are multiple score games where you just can't seem to keep it close. They've got to do a better job keeping pace early, get off to a faster start. They want to have a chance. Come the fourth quarter, if this thing's within one score, they're going to feel a lot more comfortable this time around than where they were last week. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. A tough spot here. Third and long. Let's go now. Here's Richardson. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Anytime you call a running back screen, the key is the relationship between the offensive line and the running back. They have to be in sync perfectly to set up the big play. That wasn't the case here on third down. He gets tackled short of the sticks. To return, it's Nixon. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. Here comes the pack, and here comes Jordan Love. Fifth season as quarterback, but Greg just his second as a starter. Waited his turn and had a really good first year as a starter. It's not often that you can win by multiple scores in the NFL. So you got to imagine they're coming into this week's game with a lot of confidence. They were able to put together a pretty well-rounded performance in all three phases last week. So again, can they build off that? Can they continue to grow as an entire team? Because offense, defense, and solid contribution from their special teams, they showed last week and going forward, this is going to be a hard team to beat. That pickup, good for 29 yards. I think this is something that we can expect to see here, especially early, Mike, as this team gets into a rhythm. They want to lean on this run game. They feel like they have a lot of advantages over this defense, and you can see from the first play here why they feel that way. Set to go now on first and 10. Here we go. Set, go. Once again, it's Jacobs. He'll move the pile forward. Let's give him a couple. Julian Blackman comes up from the safety spot to bring him down. There you get a look at his numbers on the ground a week ago as a part of their victory. They'll come up on a second down and eight. Here we go, set. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. He'll get this ahead for about three. Zaire Franklin that time. There for the tackle.
Here now, third and five. Ready, ready, set. From the gun, it's Love. He'll let this go towards the end zone. A Dory Jackson gets a hand on it to make the play. I like the idea of taking your shot there on third down, pushing the ball downfield, looking for the touchdown. But now as it brings up fourth down, you're already this close. You're in field goal range, but do you keep that offense on the field and try to maintain possession and see if you can come away with six? And that one, not going to have enough leg behind it. Not by a long shot. It is no good. And this will remain a scoreless ball game. There's an old saying in golf, Mike, that when you're on the green, never up, never in. In this case, the ball's on target. It just didn't have enough steam to get there. Winds up no good. On first down, they'll start with Taylor. And that one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Finding the open man, that's Pittman. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. From the gun, Richardson. And they will continue to go backwards. He's taken down for a sack. Here's Rigoberto Sanchez now. And John to punt for the second time in this opening quarter. This is taken at his own 30. And he'll be brought down, short return, and they'll take over there. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. Let's go. Ready? Now give to Jacobs. He'll run right. He'll manage to get two, maybe three on that carry. Kenny Moore there to make the play. Third down, three to go. Let's go now. Out of the shotgun. It's love. And this ball incomplete on third down. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. And he's going to make a fair catch just beyond his own 40-yard line. Here's first and 10. Out of a shotgun, Richardson. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. He was looking for Michael Pittman with that one. And that will lead to a second down. Richardson will give it to Taylor. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So that'll do it for a fast-moving first quarter of play. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And we're back at Lambeau Field in just a moment. Here's third and seven. Here we go, here we go. Now Richardson. He'll try to run for it. 
great reaction by the defense. At first, Mike, it looked like there was enough room out there for the quarterback to pick this one up himself, but they were able to rally to the ball, and I think the officials are going to mark him just short. Here's their punter now, as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. And how about that play on special teams? Perfectly done. It checks up right at the one-yard line. Josh Jacobs and the Packers offense heading back onto the field. They'll need to get something positive going right away here. Ball starts inside their own one-yard line. Ready. Ready. They'll start on the ground with Jacobs. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. And he'll be near the first down marker. Let's call it a gain of three, but a short yardage situation coming up on third down. Try to run it here with Jacobs. And he will have a Packers first down. They're able to convert by plenty on that third and one. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. On play action, Love. To the sideline. He's got Watson. Second down and three. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And he'll get past the marker. So he's got a first down on that gain of five. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst, they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. And he'll only be able to muster a couple of yards. Kenny Moore there to make the play. Second down and eight. Here we go. Now love. That'll be caught. It's Josh Jacobs. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. They'll try again here, second and ten. Ready, ready. Ready, ready. Back to the air, it's Love. Back to the sideline and intercepted. Picked off by a Dory Jackson. And the Colts are in great shape here as they take over at their 46. You know, Mike, anytime a team can go nickel or dime and come off the field with an interception, I just am constantly reminded of the importance of defensive back depth when you're building an NFL roster. I mean, think back. This is not the old NFL base 3-4, base 4-3. Offenses are going to roll out two, three, four high-level wide receivers at you in this pass-first modern era. If you can't roll out five DBs and all of them hold their own and be trusted to hold up, you are going to struggle defending these pass-first, modern offenses. On first and ten, here's Richardson. He'll get that one to Taylor, complete. And he's not going to be able to get away very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped, and that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and results in a negative play. 
He'll get that to his tight end. That's Jelani Woods. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Halftime is looming, so the athletic training staff will get a chance to look him over during the break. They go five receivers for third down and four. Here's Richardson. Taking off, he'll try to get there. Ah, strong running there. He brings this down inside the 25. You certainly can't fault the secondary here. The coverage was almost too good downfield on third down. The quarterback realized quickly there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, decides to become a runner. He's able to pick up the first down and some. And he's going to be taken down. Timeout, Indianapolis. That is their second as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. Oh, they're on him in a flash, and he's lost the football. I believe the Colts were in there to retain possession. Yes, Indianapolis will hold on to the football. Throwing on second down, Richardson. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Let's go now. now Richardson. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Got to give a lot of credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was plenty of time for the quarterback to work through his progression. I thought the protection was actually pretty solid. But at the end of it, there was just nowhere to go, and he had no choice but to just throw that ball away. Gay's kick is good. And the Colts will take a 3-0 lead. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. And he's going to bring it out from the middle of the end zone. He'll get across the 20. Mark him down at the 23-yard line. The break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. They will start it on the ground to run that clock. And he'll be brought down up past the 35-yard line. And he continues to have success running the ball here in the first half as he's closing in on 100 yards already. Okay, Mike, back to you and Greg in just a moment. But after a wild first weekend in the NFL, time to see if things will settle down as we take a quick look at what's happening here in week two we'll get things started up at ford field in detroit and this one all tied as they've gone to the intermission from there let's hop over to new england check out the patriots at home in foxborough and you can see currently they trail in that ball game geno smith throwing the football well he has three touchdown passes lastly let's head up to the twin cities to check in on the Vikings at home in Minneapolis. And that game is tied as they take on the visiting 49ers. If you missed the first half, there's not much to get you caught up on. Just the lone field goal accounting for the entirety of the scoring. A 3-0 game to this point, as both defenses have been strong so far. Both these teams running through their final adjustments. It's time for the second half. And for the call, let's get it back out to Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. For the return, it's Keyshawn Nixon. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The Packers offense running back Josh Jacobs heading back on the field. The offense is a little slow to start percolating. 3-0 the score as they begin this drive with a first and 10. Let's go. 
To throw is love. That complete to Jacobs. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. A good spot here, second and a yard. Let's go now. The man in motion is Watson. On second down, Jacobs. And they'll bring him down just shy of midfield, but that is enough. It's a first down. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. First and ten. Ready. Set. They'll run it to the right here with Jacobs. Yeah. Oh, what a run. Down inside the 30-yard line. Nice pick up there by Jacobs. And I really like this signing this offseason, Mike. I mean, with the departure of Aaron Jones going to Minnesota, they know how important that backfield is alongside Jordan Love. Can he help this Packers offense take that next step forward and certainly done his part so far? the ground it's Jacobs and he'll manage to get this ahead for a pickup of five now following the run one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up so as they look at the injured player we'll take a timeout they'll break the huddle it's second and five. Set, ready. Ready. Here's Love to throw. He finds Jaden Reed for the grab. And he'll be taken down. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. No touchdowns for either side. Maybe we'll get our first here. Down. It's first and goal. We have a tight end motioning left here. Ready? Here's Jacobs. He'll be wrapped up there down at the three-yard line. Ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. Set. Set. One more time, it's Jacobs. And he will power his way into the end zone. Josh Jacobs, touchdown Packers. It's his third touchdown on the year. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. Joseph's extra point, up and good. And the Packers move out to a 7-3 lead. Teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. So they come to the line for first down and 10. To throw, it's Richardson. Pass right side to Downs. 
And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. This is what every offense looks to do, Mike. They want to attack the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. And oftentimes, that's where the chunk plays come. Give it to your receiver on the move and let them do the rest. They face second down and seven. Off the play fake, it's Richardson. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver, and down he goes. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Looking to throw, Richardson. He'll try and get there on the ground. He got a lot of what he needed, but just not enough. Lamarck is a couple yards shy of the first down. Here comes fourth down. You can see here, Mike, the impact that sending your receivers deep does to the defense. You add so many layers, and the defense has to get so much depth in their pass coverage. It leaves a lot of room underneath, and that's exactly what the quarterback takes advantage, tucks the ball down, turns into a runner, picks up the first down. They will get away from that one, and they're going to have tremendous field position. This ball hits and goes out of bounds. The Packers offense and their running back set to go once more. And we'll give you a look at some of the highlights. He's had a number of them over that magic mark, over 100 yards on the ground, including a rushing touchdown. He has been a handful for the defense right throughout. Here we go. Here we go. Cut. Love to throw on first and ten. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Jaden Reed was the intended target. And it'll bring up second down. Here we go. They'll run the toss to Jacobs. Jacobs, first down and more. And so much for being back up, he takes this beyond the 25-yard line. With this guy's athleticism, Mike, you can see why they love getting him out into open space. And the toss is one of the quickest and easiest ways to do it. And anytime his guys on the outside hit their blocks and spring them, he can get to the second level in a hurry. They'll come up here. First and ten. Here we go. Set. Ready. Throwing is love. A throw here, right side, falls incomplete. Christian Watson, the intended receiver. It's second down. It's pretty remarkable at this stage, Mike, that they're even winning this game. I mean, anytime a quarterback is completing less than 50% of his throws. You just don't see that very often, and it just seems like time and time again, this quarterback and his intended targets, they're just not on the same page. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. you got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. So, points at a premium defensive battle so far as we are through three you're watching the nfl on ea sports here's third and two Let's go. A run up the middle with Jacobs. And he will have a Packers first down. They needed two and gained six. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. Let's go now. Love to throw it on first down. 
The pressure there got to him. He's hit as he threw it, and that pass ball is incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? It'll be a pickup of ten. First down, Packers. And this running game has really been rolling, Mike, all game long. The holes, the run lanes, they've been there consistently. Here's another nice run as they look to put this game away. That is knocked away. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. Well, not exactly breaking news here, Mike. They got speed on the perimeter that just not a lot of teams in the NFL have. So even though that ball falls incomplete, I think they have to continue to do it, continue to pressure this defense and make them defend the entire field. Because as they're worried about him running by them, there is a lot of space open underneath. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. From the gun, on third down, it's Love. That's out to the flat, and it's complete. It's a pickup of 12. Good for a Green Bay first down. So this is a part of the game that everybody works on, Mike. They call it four-minute offense, and you don't necessarily have to have four minutes on the clock. But the whole idea is we possess the ball late in the fourth quarter with the lead. The goal is we want to end the game with the ball. So that third down conversion is going to go a long way. Protect the ball, continue to pick up first downs. If they do that, I don't even think their opponent sees the ball again. A handoff running left. It's Jacobs. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's second and six. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Off the play fake. Here's Love. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Josh Jacobs was the intended receiver. And third down coming up. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. Great pass rushers live for third down, especially when they know the offense has to be one-dimensional. And this is a great example here, Mike. They can just pin their ears back and go. They know there is no threat for run. It is a must-pass situation. And for this offense, they're lucky it didn't result in a sack. And he couldn't draw it in. It's off the right upright. No good. And this lead will stay right where it is. You can see the body language of the kicker, Mike. Once it left his foot, he was kind of leaning. He was trying to bring that one back towards the middle. But that's the sound you dread as a kicker. It reverberates around the stadium, off the upright, no good. From the 35, it's first and 10. Here's Richardson. Catch me. That's Woods. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. This is a great opportunity now for the offense to really seize control of this game. They just saw their opponent miss a field goal try, come out aggressive on the ensuing possession, strike deep early. Now see if they can put a hit, and he has lost the football. And the defense has it. The road gets a little tougher now. It's first and 20. From the gun, Richardson. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. 
And it'll be second down. Throwing is Richardson. And that is incomplete. But now a penalty flag comes in late. He might have been caught with his hands in the cookie jar. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning remain as we get set for first and ten. Richardson operating from the pistol. That's complete to his running back, Taylor. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back for the conclusion in a moment. Now, second and four. They'll drop to throw. That's to the left side and taken in by Downs. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. And that could be the dagger. It's intercepted. Picked off by Keyshawn Nixon. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field and a chance to extend their lead. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But, boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. The Packers offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. They've got the lead, and they'll set forth trying to build on it. They're going to do that with excellent field position. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Now, Jacobs. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. Ball down to the 16-yard line, and it's first and 10. Once again, it's Jacobs. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. Here's second and two. He'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. He is in. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Green Bay. That's his second touchdown of the game. He's doubled his season output. He now has four. And that's exactly how you stress all week, finishing a game. Get the ball and leave no doubt. But that late touchdown, Mike, that should all but just seal this victory away. Here's Joseph now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Packers extend their advantage to 14 to 3. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this taken in at the eight yard line he's across the 20 taken down just shy of the 25 the Colts offense starting to trot out for this next possession the deficit is double digits so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten Out of shotgun, Richardson. A 
Oh, the ball comes out. The Packers have it. And there it is. The defense comes up with the big play, forcing the fumble as they get their offense right back on the field. Coming up, Greg, with a big turnover. Taking the ball away, Mike, has really become an art form in the NFL. Some teams are good at it, some teams not so much. But in this case, great job by the defense taking that one away. The Packers offense ready to get back at it. And they'll have a chance to put this one to bed. They begin first and goal. Let's go. Here's a run. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. And he continues to rack up the yardage on the ground, and that last run puts him over 200 rushing yards in this game. Let's go now. Ready, ready. They'll run with Jacobs. And this is going to be a touchdown. They are going to extend the lead here in the final minute of play. And another score in another good performance after winning the opener on their way to 2-0. Mike, you can't be 2-0 without being 1-0. And for them to be able to continue to string early wins together in the first part of the year, this is the start that every team dreams about. This is what you work for all offseason long to start your season and build some early momentum. Gives you a lot of flexibility and wiggle room as the rest of this season plays on. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. This one deep in the landing zone. He'll return it from the two. And he'll get this up past the 20. And that's where they'll set up shop. Here's the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over once more. And look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards any completions this has just been a dominant pass defense performance here and everything starts with the rush the quarterback's uncomfortable the clock gets sped up he's got guys in his face it's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fat ah oh, the ball's out the Packers have it well the ball comes out and the scramble for it it ends up Becoming a turnover, and the offense walks off the field disappointed with that fumble. Mike, when you look at a stat sheet at the end of the game and you want to determine which team wins and which team loses, at the top of the list is ball security. Which team does a better job protecting it and which team does a better job taking it away? Out comes the Green Bay offense now as they get set to take over again. Greg, talk about a real boost for your running game that has powered them to this big lead. And anytime you have one of these upper echelon running backs, a, a truly elite player at the position, it just makes such a difference in how you're able to run the ball. And what I mean by that is, even if in the beginning of the game, the yards are tough to come by, you know as the game unfolds and get longer, just continue to get your guy more and more touches and he's eventually gonna break through. And even though today he's had his way with this defense, barring some sort of change, I think they got to continue to give him the ball as often as possible. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So, it's a win for the Packers. They get the job done here at home, and they follow the opening weekend victory with another here to move to 2-0.
on the season. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson, for our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers are winners, as we say so long from legendary Lambeau Field.